All right, let's play this again. So we know Blade is an undercover cop. Uh, Jessica is a cop. Shredder is a cop. Uh, and uh, Tucker might be a cop. Hello, I'm not sir. sure. May I please have my phones back? Name Dwight. An officer. I need to go back to her. Officer Schrader. I'm a citizen pal like a good friend. Wait, what? What? Wound me. Excuse me, officer. Okay. Sorry yeah. to have to bother. Martin, what are you doing here? Got something to take care of, is all. Blade, well, Doug, and Martin are cops. Blade? Schrader as well, and Jessica as well. Okay. Treating you guys. Luxury. I do you. Okay, they'll go to the meeting, I guess. We've listened to that. Let's go. Uh, let me just hear what Tucker has to say when Doug calls him. Cassidy, take our friend here to the interrogation room. I've got to answer this. On it. You, phone, wallet. And Cassidy is the other cop. Okay. Here's my phone. You can pat me down too. Tucker handled that already. Just let him in. You get him back when you leave. Doug. Just came back to bring Sting in. Why are you here? No, we should talk now. I'll come find you. Okay, so Doug, uh, let me see what he says to again just to just Tucker. The meeting. Up you. Wait, I'm at your place. Where are you? Well, let's talk later. See you at the meeting. Okay, he says let's talk later, but Tucker says no, let's talk now. Okay. Name? New. No. Jess, I'll take it from here. Martin told me. Like I said, I'll. Let's, let's talk see. in my office. Let's see what they have to say to each other. Take a seat, please. Now, what the fuck are you doing here? That idiot Blade hit a cop car, and that buffoon Martin arrested us. He's just trying to give us a hard time. Martin's always been trouble. You think he heard something? Not that it matters. I've got everything under control. Picked up Sting and Kent to clear the way for you to take over. Who'd have thought, huh? All three of us in the same police station. Those two behave. Sting didn't even try to run. Sounds just like that old fox. Kent? Kent. He... He couldn't run even if he wanted to. What do you mean by that? I went to the Mountain Hotel earlier to case the place and found Kent in a VIP room. Sucker was already three sheets to the wind. Saw an opportunity, so I had him booked for public intoxication. No shit. Huh. Why'd Kent get there so early? You think the boss told him before the rest of us? I didn't see anyone else there. What's your boss look like? <laughs> nice try. Only us three have ever seen our boss in the flesh. He likes to keep a low profile. I wasn't trying to trick you. Just curious, is all. Yeah, but something's off. I've seen Kent drink for years, and yet I've never seen him drunk. Not even once. Looks pretty sauce to me. Didn't even wake up on the ride over. Must have had himself a whole bottle. Or five. Yeah, well, this guessing game won't get us anywhere. You keep an eye on those two there, will you? We can't let anything go wrong now. I'm gonna go see the boss. Okay, I'll see you out. Again, they all go. They all go. Now let's just check uh, when Dwight passes through here if he drops anything, because the. I mean, uh, the bomb is placed here at some point. Hmm, I didn't hear anything, so. I mean, Dwight has. I think he's Raven because he kills his old. Raven kills his crew when. Uh, and look, that's all three of them. That's gotta be a record. Yeah, I uh, seem to have misplaced Are it you again. here? Hello. And Chip accidentally sets off the bomb. Okay, let's see if Schrader. Oh, Dwight's second phone call to Schrader. Who does it try to call Burn first, though? Midnight oil, I see. And who do we have here? Oh, shut up. I... Uh, never mind. 
Who the hell's calling me at this time of night? Cassidy, take our friend here to the interrogation room. I've got to answer this. On it. You, phone, wallet, everything in your pockets on the desk. Here's my phone. You gotta pat me down, too. Tucker handled that already. Just let him in. You get him back when you leave. We should talk now. I want to stay here with Trader. See what happens. Wait. What was that? That geezer's phone is ringing. That geezer's phone is ringing. Is that Dwight's phone? So does he ever get his phone back? So. Your pocket. Uh, no can do. Your phone's evidence in an ongoing case. So uh, you'll have to follow procedure. But they're mine. All right. What do I need to do? Who told you to come here? Ask them to write you a release form. An officer named Jessica. I need to go back to her. Officer Schrader, you working the night shift tonight? What do you do this time? So he goes to Jessica, try to get his phone back. Sir, again. Ah, uh, the desk sergeant wants a release form. Can you help? I'd really... No problem, I'm almost done. You're lucky you aren't being booked, but you still gotta fill this out. No, for crying out loud, it's not like I went on a killing spree. There! Ta-da! Signed and dated. Can I leave now? Mm-mm. Okay, let's follow Jessica and Dwight. Mickey! Glad to see you! Officer, nice to meet you. Name's Mickey. Mickey Ocean. I'll take care of the paperwork, Schrader. Give this patient gentleman his phone. Yeah, now beat it. I lost two of these. There should be another one. Two phones? You think your daddy Warbucks? By the way, could you tell me where the bathroom is? Inside, to your left. Good evening, officer. So sorry for the trouble. My friend didn't know any better. Whatever, Mickey the e monkey was it? Or his your signature. Okay, so uh, Dwight goes to the toilet and then he tries to call someone. Right? Okay, that's fine. So he can't call anyone. I think. I see, and wow, who do we have here? Oh, shut up! I. Uh, never mind. Everything in your pockets on the desk. Here's my phone. You gotta pat me down too. Tucker handled that already. Just let him in. You'll get him back when you leave. Okay. Let him in. You'll get him. Too. Pat me down too. Tucker handled that already. Just let him in. You'll get him back when you leave. Just came back to bring Sting in. Why are you here? I'm not I'm not really sure who brought the bomb. Uh this is Dwight trying to call uh his phone, I think. Let me, let me check. Yeah, exactly. Shredder has his second phone. Why do you even bother? Ah, oh, shove it already. You coping the kids. Okay. Then Mickey steals his phone. Gives it to Chip, I think. Don't chip and tell me, what's a phone to you, huh? It's the mobile era now. A phone's more than just a phone, it's access. Access to the owner's... Ah, never mind. You're too stupid to understand all that. What did I tell you, huh? There's my money! Damn, Mickey, you the man! I'm learning all sorts of new techniques tonight. Go on, then. Give it a try. We've got a phone right here. I've got this! Huh. Weird. He's only got one number. Stay okay, on, yeah. Then. Give it a try. Hello, officer. Have you seen my phone? Oh, you again? That's gotta be a record. Yeah, I, uh, 
You seem to have misplaced it. Okay, let's try to answer this then. So, who brought the bomb? Uh, that's, I'm not really sure. Who detonated the bomb? That was Chip. And who is Raven? That's Dwight. So, because he's Raven, I'm guessing he brought the bomb, but I'm not sure. Let's just submit. Okay, cool. So we have two out of three. Uh, all names are marked correctly. Uh, we have... I need more time, yeah. So we gotta find out who brought the bomb, because I think the other one are right. Right, let me... <laughs> I'm just gonna cheat here a little bit. I'm just gonna change this name to, let's say, uh, Chip. Why not? And I still have two out of three, so definitely the wrong question is who brought the bomb. Okay, so what we're gonna do is uh, try to listen Hello, Sergeant. May I please have my to everyone that passes name through here. Dwight. Yeah, let me check here. Theft hmm. case, huh? Uh, no can do. Your phone's evidence in an ongoing theft. But they're mine. What? Who told you to off? Uh, you working the night shift tonight? Well, <laughs> what a surprise. <sighs> I don't even have to. Not a lot. You good, Captain Martin? What are you doing here? Got something to take care of, is all. Well, I'll be. Shut up. Go to phones, wallets, and whatever you have in your pockets on the desk. Relax, Raider. We had a small fender bender. They're accompanying me so we can sort out the details. Hi, Officer Schrader. You don't think you could ask around and see when Chip me, do mm. you? Oh, so you own the place now, do you? Find out yourself. Mickey, glad to see you. Officer, nice to meet you. Name's Mickey, Mickey Ocean. Uh oh, maybe, hold on, maybe. The bomb wasn't placed here. The bomb... What I'm thinking is Kint, because he's got a prosthetic leg. There was a bomb in his prosthetic leg. And because he was completely passed out, he didn't... Um, he didn't notice it. So we have to find... Who brought the bomb? That was Kint, right? Because he had the, the leg. We're not sure who drugged him. Who picked him up? I, uh, I don't remember. I think maybe he says something here. Martin and uh, Blade. Let me, let me check. What the hell were you thinking? Hitting a police car? Did it ever occur to you that it might blow your cover? I had to act fast. The info I've got is crucial for my investigation. Raven's going to show up tonight. What? All right, I want you to tell me everything. I'll send someone to keep Doug busy. Okay, let me just uh, wait a bit. All right, I've sent someone in to stall Doug. Now tell me what you know. But make it quick. That car accident you staged won't buy us much time. Yeah, Doug was already getting suspicious. Okay, how much do you know about Raven? I've heard all sorts of things. Some of them are slut to believe anymore. I've been undercover as part of his organization for two years. Everything you've heard about him is true. Hey, he's just talking about... Maybe it was this guy? Okay, let me check. Cassidy and Sting. It's just you and me now, Sting. What are you guys trying to pull, huh? I mean, setting up roadblocks and arresting people for no good reason. Tucker gave the order earlier today. He didn't explain anything, and I had no idea he was trying to catch you. What's this Tucker up to? Now that you mention it, Tucker has been acting strange lately. Before he brought you in, he was up at the Mountain Hotel. Picked up a drunk. Guy's still lying and holding. Mountain Hotel? What are the odds? So, it's either who brought the bomb. I mean, I guess he was Kint, because he is the one with the leg. And uh, Tucker, who was definitely in on this little gang, placed the bomb there. <laughs> this is what I'm thinking. I'm not sure. Let's just go for it. Yes, <laughs> it's Kint. He has the bomb on his leg, of course. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> I went to the Mountain Hotel earlier to case the place and found Kent in a VIP room. Sucker was already three sheets to the wind. I think the boss told him before the rest of us? Yeah, something's up. I've seen Kent drink for years, and I've never seen him drunk. Not even once. I'm having trouble walking straight. Ooh, legs a bit heavier than I remember. Remember that cargo freighter? The one that blew up in the harbor? What Raven's doing? Got what he wanted? Murder his guys and scuttle the ship with a remotely detonated explosive. 
All the info we've gathered on him suggests he eventually kills anyone who's seen his face. Oops, sorry about that. Okay, that, that made a bit. Does it strike you as odd that these situations seem to be full of coincidences? Sorry, I meant great job. I mean, coincidences? You're progressing through these examples at a steady pace, but I knew you could crack them. All right, on to the next one. Tell me, detective, do you enjoy the theater? I do. Occasionally. Okay, so that, that, just to clear something up, that made the, even though I didn't, was absent, I wasn't uh, really certain that Kent had the, uh, was the one that brought the bomb. I mean, I was certain of that, but uh, I'm not sure how. I guess uh, it, w it was explained in that, like, short video. So Kent was called up to the hotel before everyone else, and then uh, Tucker found him already, like, passed out. And obviously, Dwight, being Raven, put the bomb inside of Kent's leg, or prosthetic leg, whatever, and Tucker brought him in. That's it. <laughs> I think that that's the logic behind it. Anyways, moving on. Alright, here we go. So we've got, again, 12 people and 3 questions. Uh, who organized Emily's murder? Who sent all the ghost texts? And who followed the ghost texts instructions to kill Sasha? What are ghost texts? What the hell does that mean? Is there a ghost that's texting everyone? <laughs> that makes no sense. Anyways, let's start the case. Seems like your old castmates were just as surprised as the trade papers by your return to this stage. <laughs> I've got to thank you for that, Harvey. Saw the articles. Broadway star Sasha returns to independent theater for limited run. Talk about publicity. Even I wanted to believe that fairy tale you fed the press. Well, the people are buying it for now. Still a lot of work to do, you know. And a lot of reporters outside. In any case, you gotta put up a good show this time. We don't want people to start wondering why you really came back. Otherwise, we'll have a PR disaster on our hands. Don't worry. I did this show for years, remember? I didn't get this big by doing nothing. In that, I have no doubt, Sasha, my dear. It's just, when we meet that good-for-nothing who's blackmailing you, don't let him get under your skin, yeah? If money can make it all go away, then that's what we're gonna do. <sighs> There's only three people who know what really happened two years ago. Whoever's blackmailing me this time, I highly doubt they have anything legit. Probably just someone who heard the rumors and wants to make a quick buck. Hmm. Got another text. It's asking me to meet him in the storeroom. Let's go. Well, let's just follow these two characters then for now. Uh, so. Come on in. Slim? <laughs> Surprised. Sasha, let me handle this. You keep hinting you have something, so let's see it. Well, allow me to introduce you to this rope. Let me guess. You're gonna try to hang us with that frayed piece of junk. Oh, you're right about that. See this cut here? Who did that, I wonder? <laughs> what do you think the police would say if they got their hands on this, huh? I don't have time for this. Just pay him. You got your cash. Give it here. And just remember, this deal never happened. You go around blabbing about this, and you'll live to regret it. Mark my words. 
Ah, oh, I see. I see you're still as vengeful as you were two years ago. And no more of those texts, either. Those about drove me crazy. What texts? Oh, stop playing dumb. You sent me texts in Emily's name. Look for yourself. You'll pay with your life the next time you return to the stage. Emily. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> That's too hilarious. What? Are you being haunted now? Oh, shut it! Did you send this or not? As if. Look, that ain't even my phone number. Me. <laughs> so, so apparently there is a ghost texting Sasha. And that's Emily. Okay. Maybe it was from Emily. Ooh, scary. You're <laughs> such an asshole. Sasha, Sasha, leave it. We got the evidence back. That's all that matters. Let's just get out of here. Come on. Nice seeing you. Break a leg. Uh, I'm, I'm just gonna keep following them. Huh? Oh, what do you want now? What? More bad news? No, it's nothing. I don't think Slim sent those texts. He's in it for the money, not to torment you. Then, whoever it was is still out there? I'm afraid so. Tomorrow's the anniversary of Emily's death. I'm starting to think you going on stage isn't a good idea. At least until we've figured this whole thing out. I mean, what if someone attacks you? I get you're concerned, but don't be, okay? I told Larry I'd do three shows, but my plan is to perform for one night only. I'm supposed to appear back on Broadway tomorrow. I signed a new agreement with the Halcyon Theater Company and everything. If I don't show up, I'll be in breach of contract. Hmm. Uh, though that's only for a willful breach. What if it was force majeure? Say, for instance, you get injured. Then we'd have enough time to get to the bottom of those mysterious texts. Hmm? Injured? Yeah, you know, a fake injury. That would do it. Oh, and say you're injured in front of the press. That'd really back it up. Hmm. You know, I think you might be onto something. Maybe pull the same old trick from two years ago. Yeah. All right. I'll need to go pay a visit to our old friend. But first, I need an excuse to play the witch. Let me think. <laughs> Buy me a coffee. Huh? Oh. <laughs> you weren't kidding when you said same old trick. You even have any allergies? If I did have an allergy, it'd be a fake one. I'm an actress, remember? Huh. How can I forget? Alright, I've gotta go meet someone. Toodles. Is she, is she gonna pretend she has an allergy to coffee? Okay, and to get rid of the uh, performance tomorrow? Uh, let me just check here one thing. Harvey was a bit... acting a bit weird when they came in the room. As, like, as in like he's got text from someone. Yeah. More bad news? No. Okay, I'm just gonna write a comment at the moment. Okay. RV gets text. Okay. Huh? Alright, let's just fill this up then. And uh, I'm gonna follow Sasha. It'd be a fake. I've gotta go. Is Jeff in there? Sasha? Oh, hey, Four Eyes. Just wanted to come say hi to Jeff. Okay, so we have Four Eyes and Jeff. Yeah. Sounds good. I'll let you two talk. I gotta check in with the other actors. Wait, who's calling what? I heard you was gonna come. Someone was dialing yeah. phone you... numbers. That you? Right? This is what I heard. Sasha? Oh, hey, Four Eyes. Just wanted to come say hi to Jeff. Sounds good. I'll let you two talk. I gotta check in with the other actors. Yeah, someone's dialing numbers. That you, Sasha? Heard you was gonna come back, but what you doing down here? Figured you'd be up on stage getting ready. I have a favor to ask. Whoa, whoa, whoa. No siree. Not again, Sash. It'll be easy. Just do it the same way as you did last time. Not with tomorrow being the anniversary of you-know-what. 
You can't keep pulling these stunts. Give my old heart a break. Oh, stop it. You were well paid. Though now that you mention it, what did you do with that old rope? Threw it in the trash, of course. Why? What's it to you? <gasps> the trash, of course. That must be where the person who just blackmailed me found it. What? That's impossible. <sighs> Calm down. I took care of it. Cost me a fortune, though. Cleaning up your mess. What do you say? You help me again, and we'll call it even. If someone really found it, that's just more reason for me not to do it again. Relax, will ya? No one suspected you last time. Four Eyes got all the heat. Yeah, but while everyone was suspecting Four Eyes, he was suspecting me. That quiet creep was obsessed with Emily, started poking into things after you left. Uh-uh. Even if you were willing to pay me again, the only place I'd have to spend it is the prison commissary. <sighs> that won't happen, I promise. You want to know why? Because you'll be dropping the house on me this time. Uh, on you? That's exactly right. Even you know I don't want to commit suicide, right? You just cut the rope. And after Four Eyes presses the button to drop the house, I'm going to pretend it hits my feet. Your feet? What exactly are you trying to pull, Sash? That doesn't concern you. Just do what I'm asking, all right? Then we're finished. And you can pretend this never happened. Well, uh, all right. There, it's done. You want me to change the marks on the stage, too? <sighs> what kind of stupid question is that? I don't want to get injured for real. Leave the marks right where they are. Otherwise, that thing might actually fall on me. Understood? <laughs> Good. I'm gonna go get ready. So, I'm thinking Sasha... What is that? It... Sasha organized Emily's murder the last time, or two years ago, whatever. By uh, having Jeff cut the rope and sweep, swapping the labels and eventually dropping the house or whatever. Something. Uh, on top of Emily killing her. Yes, you! Oh, wow. I'm one of your biggest fans. A fan? <sighs> I didn't know they allowed fans backstage. Oh, oh, gosh, I'm sorry. I got a little carried away. Actually, I'm your makeup artist. My name's Helen, and I have followed your career from here to Broadway. And I hear you're going to Hollywood next. Oh, I can't believe it! Would it be rude to ask for your autograph? When's your movie start shooting? And is it true your first on-screen role is some big bad villain? Why don't we continue this conversation while you do my makeup? Now let's just continue. Now, continue what were with you Sasha. about my new movie? Oh, there's something on my mirror. Killers will be killed, Emily. Oh my gosh, that's the same thing all those ghost texts were saying. Who was in here earlier? I've been waiting right outside this room since Larry told me I was in charge of your makeup. No one's come in or out. And Emily? Didn't Emily die? No wonder this message seems like it's written... written in blood! There's no way you can perform after this, Sasha. Look closer, you little fool. It's not blood, it's lipstick! Now I'm certain whoever's behind this must be here in the theater. I'm going to catch them and make their life miserable. Wait here. I need to go look for someone. Look for someone? You're going to confront Four Eyes or something? I think she is. Four Eyes, you seen that manager of mine? Harvey? As I recall, he went into the storeroom earlier. Got it. Thanks. I figured it out. Whoever's pretending to be M. <laughs> what? What the fuck? Oh my god, guys! Are, are you okay? Who could have done this? Harvey, wake up! Harvey! Well, what's going on? What? What's going on? Why is the back door locked? Larry! Larry, something terrible's happened. What? Whoa, there's Sasha. Wait, is this Larry, I guess? Uh, yeah. And, uh, well... Calm down. What happened? It's Harvey and Slim and, and Chrome Dome and Leo. We have Chrome Dome and Leo here. 
Uh, I guess this is Ashley because that was a woman's voice. They, somebody's knocked them out. I, I, I don't even know if they're still alive. Wow, what? that's impossible. I just saw them earlier at the rehearsal. They're in the storeroom. Follow me. The storeroom? That's where Slim goes to get high. He thinks <laughs> the straw in his costume masks the smell. Anyway, it's almost showtime. You and Ashley get ready to go out. I'll send four eyes to check. There's no way I'm going back on stage now. I want to get out of here, but I can't because someone locked the back door. Perhaps it is too dangerous for Sasha. Maybe I can... <gasps> Uh, is Sasha there? Who's asking? And what do you want with her? It's me, Leo. I need to talk to Sasha for a sec. Conscious in the storeroom. I don't know who that man is or what he wants. Sasha isn't here right now. A and you're not in the first scene either, so head backstage. We've already got enough going on here. So many people. We do it anyway? No, too messy. She only has one exit with the back door locked. We just need to make sure she doesn't leave. So, where can we keep an eye on the entire stage? Let me check the schematic. Uh-huh. I'd say the master control room should work. Then let's go. Right there. Well, who are these people? Let's follow the marks on the stage. But Dorothy, Ashley can... I can't just leave. He must with her. You and Ashley get ready to go out. I'll send four eyes. Out the back door. Perhaps it is to you. Uh, who, who is it? Uh, is Sasha there? Who's asking? And what do you want with her? It's me, Leo. I need to talk to Sasha for a sec. He's lying. I just saw Leo unconscious in the storeroom. I don't know who that man is or what he wants. Sasha isn't here right now. A and you're not in the first scene either, so head backstage. We've already got enough going on here. What should I do, Larry? I can't just leave. He might be waiting outside. I'm thinking what you can I do, use Larry? the side door on the stage. You can play the witch in the first scene. Then when the smoke appears, you can use it as cover and leave from the side. And as for Dorothy, Ashley can play her, can't you? Uh, all right. If you're sure. Of course. Quick, let's switch our costumes. Give us a hand, Helen, would you? Right, I'm on it. Hurry! The role of the witch is simple. Just follow the marks on the stage. Got it. We're all set, then. You know the lines, right, Ashley? Oh, don't worry. I've played Dorothy before. All right. We're on, Four Eyes. Raise the curtains, and... Do any of you know what magic really entails? Is it hope? Miracles? Ha! More like a fool's hope. In Oz, magic means strength. Magic means power. And I, Elvenora, the witch of the East, possess that power. You shall all bow before me. There shall be no There shall be no need to no drop the house windows. on my mark. No! Ah! What? What? She's dead. It, it killed her. In those texts were real? What happened? 